What's up guys, it's me Useless Girl and I'm back with another straight playthrough. If you like it, you know what to do. Alright, so after losing B12 while opening up the dome of the city, we have no guidelines to what to do, but I guess we will have to find a way to the outside on our own. Which will probably also mean the end of the game, but we will see. So, let's go. I'm guessing now that locked door is probably open. Ugh. Where's our family? Let's take a picture. Wow! I open her trophy. Come on! You should have showed how the cat found the the little cat family. No! Don't be so disappointing at, right at the end. Oh, come on. <sighs> Anyways, while the end credits roll, I have a few thoughts about the game. So, first of all, the characters, they were very lovable, especially the cat and B12. B12 was a really good companion, not annoying, uh, not in your face. Um, when you forgot what to do, you could just like uh, call him out and give you a hint where to go well sometimes that didn't really help but whatever so he was a perfect companion i think the story was simple but layered and moving i think so and it was a really unique setting you playing as a cat in a, a sci-fi or dystopian little city also, the action was just enough, at times scary and surprising, like the walls of ice in the sewers. So, that, that was really scary sometimes, like, like a body horror movie or I don't know. I really didn't expect that. Uh, Graphic-wise, it was, well, so-so. Uh, the environments were gorgeous, but the cat's fur could have used some more work, I think. Also the camera movements, because at places it was difficult to see what I wanted to actually see, especially when hiding in boxes from the drones. Okay, so... Uh, about the puzzles, I think that was the perfect balance. So, well, perfectly balanced, rather. Not too hard, not too easy to figure out, and after a few tries you could usually solve them without looking online or whatever. So it was, like, I think, perfectly balanced. Uh, lengthwise, I think it the story was long enough, just enough. Not too short, not unnecessary... There were no unnecessary additions. Um, 
which would only make the game feel bloated with content that could have been left out, like in a big open world game where you do the repetitive uh, fetch quests and whatnot. Well, but the controls, well, sometimes they were clumsy, but refreshingly simple, I think. Please give me an end credit where the cat finds the little family. Please. Please. Oh no. Okay, so that was my only big disappointment in this game. The ending. So, I think everyone wanted to see the cat find the, the little family he was separated from at the beginning. So this is like, uh, I don't know, I don't think it's like a sequel baiting, I think it's just, it just was left out or I don't know. This, this disappoints me. This is my only disappointment, really disappointment in this game. Because, come on! How happy the little kittens would have been if if they they've got rejoined and and played around on a field of <laughs> I don't know wildflowers or something. Oh my God! What a big miss. Ugh. Anyways, back to my thoughts. The music. The music was really ambient and painted the perfect background to this that city with the robots or droids and it was futuristic enough and ambient enough so nothing too grand to like something that would pull your attention from the actual gameplay so it was like a really nice background music all along i really enjoyed it i think i will uh check it out and listen to it for a few times because sometimes i like to listen to ambient music while doing something else like writing or drawing or painting or whatever anyway so i really liked the uh, the music as well and my verdict on the game is that it was very cute enjoyable refreshing innovative because of the world and playing as a cat uh, and I had a very good time exploring and also progressing uh, naturally in the game so sure I went to explore here and there a little bit but since the, the, the world was not oversaturated with uh, collectibles and tasks and uh, side quests and whatnot, it was like I didn't feel like if I didn't explore, I will miss something. You know what I mean? So, so it was like I was curious more about the, the actual storyline and uh, to find out what this city was about, how to get out of there, how to help these uh, robots who helped us back. So yeah, so I, I really liked it. And uh, as I said, it was not overly complicated. Uh, the controls were easy enough. Uh, they introduced a few new moves, let's say like the light that uh, destroyed the Zerks, but it wasn't overwhelming like in these big open world games or, or big, I don't know, role player games, whatever you want to cl uh, call them. So yeah, that that's what's, what was really refreshing for me. And I think this, well, approximately 10 hours long game is like the perfect choice between uh, playing two big games you know uh, it's, it's like a little chill out and and uh, a simpler and unique experience uh, 
and the game itself focuses on friendship, family, companionship in a unique setting. So I really liked that. Uh, it was very wholesome and rewarding despite the few sad parts and the shitty ending, <clears throat> may I add. It was also educational here and there for all ages. Like uh, what happened to the humans and, and how a lost civilization is viewed um, by the next one, which were the droids. And like they have limited information about humans, the previous, uh, previous civilization, and they like try to figure out how they were, what they did, why they did stuff, so it can be projected into real life as well, I think, like the lost old civilizations in history and how we see them right now, you know what I mean. So yeah, it, it was like thought-provoking a little bit on, on that part, I think. And what else I wanted to say? Oh yeah, and you play as a cat. Do I have to say anything more? I mean, cats are the best, or at least for me. Look at look at that cat! Wow. So this game made me very happy, very happy. Uh, aside from the ending. <laughs> Anyways, and with all this said, thank you for joining me on this journey. I hope you enjoyed it just as much as I did. If that's the case, please leave a like, a comment or subscribe. I would really appreciate it. The pictures I took during the playthrough can be found in my Deviant Art Stray Gallery linked below. I hope you have a wonderful day and goodbye and peace.